Welcome to Pushback. I'm Aaron Maté. There is an important update in the Syria OPCW cover-up scandal that I wanted to share with you. And that is a letter that has just come out signed by a number of distinguished signatories calling on the OPCW to stop suppressing the evidence that was gathered in the Duma investigation and to listen to the dissenting inspectors whose findings were censored. This is very important because this letter does not just have eminent people like Noam Chomsky, Daniel Ellsberg, Lawrence Wilkerson, two former senior UN officials, Dennis Halliday and Hans von Sponek, Tulsi Gabbard, the former U.S. Congress member, but also, and I think most importantly here, this letter is signed by five former OPCW officials. So these are five former OPCW officials, including the former director, Jose Bustani, going on the record to call out their former organization and to demand that they weigh the evidence that was suppressed in Duma. And for those who don't know what the story is, I'll summarize it briefly, and then we'll get to this letter and talk about what it says. So basically, in April 2018, the Syrian government was accused of committing a chemical weapons attack in the town of Duma. There was a video released showing dozens of bodies inside a building. And immediately this was blamed on the Syrian government. And within a week, the US, Britain and France bombed Syria based on this allegation. Shortly after that, the OPCW, the world's top chemical weapons watchdog, sent a team into Douma. They conducted an investigation. And to make a long story short, they came out with a report a year later that comported essentially with the U.S. narrative that the Syrian government was guilty of a chemical attack with chlorine in Douma. They didn't directly accuse Syria of this, but that was the inference of their report. They said that there were reasonable grounds that chlorine as a toxic chemical weapon was used, and the only possible party that could have used chlorine from an aircraft was the Syrian government, which controlled the airspace. So that was the inference of the report. But then we got a series of damning leaks from inside the OPCW showing that the inspectors who actually went to Syria for this mission did not reach that conclusion. But what happened was they wrote an initial report that was censored. Their seniors officials tried to put out a bogus report in its place. That was thwarted, but still, ultimately, the OPCW put out a final report in March of 2019 that still excluded a lot of the key evidence that contradicted claims